Hey, and welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be uh, learning how to promote ClickBank products on Pinterest. I'm gonna teach you how to pick a product on ClickBank, how to set up your email collection, how to create the video pins and also the static pins, how to build up your squeeze page, and then how to promote your offer so that you can make that cash. Our goal is to collect emails and then follow up with our prospects uh, over time and make those ClickBank sales, okay? So I'll have a link to this uh, file that you're seeing on the screen. In the description of this video, you can go down there and grab it anytime you like, so you can follow along. Uh, and then, uh, you know, just go step by step with me, okay? So, the tools and resources you're gonna need are a blog or a website. Basically, you, you can get set up through Bluehost. Uh, those will be affiliate links. And then you've got Pinterest. You're gonna need to set up a business account. And also, you should link your website to your Pinterest account. That way, you can get what's called rich pins. Um, Canva, uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing software. Your autoresponder with Aweber, uh, that's what I use Aweber anyways, so that you can follow up with the emails. And then you're gonna need a ClickBank account, okay? So step one, you wanna find your product. And when you go about looking for a product on ClickBank, there's some things that I personally like to look for, like does it have a JD page, is where I find like the email swipes, or the, uh, the creatives or images that I can use. Uh, for my lander and things like that. Um, is the gravity important? I don't think the gravity is that important. I think it's more, what's more important is the look of it. Again, if the gravity is really high and everyone's promoting it, it's a lot of competition, it's just gonna be harder for you. Uh, just make sure that the offer fits your audience and also that the, the sales page looks good and that it's on a secure site and everything just looks legit. Okay, that'd be more important, I think, than the gravity. Uh, the third thing I say is um, you got to understand Pinterest demographics when you're going to pick a product on ClickBank to promote. You got to understand that most of the people on Pinterest are actually uh, women, like mid twenties to mid twenties to like fifties, something like that. So you want to pick a product according to that. So if you go over to um, ClickBank, uh, I've kind of already done a little bit of research and figure out what I want to promote today just to save you some time. Uh, I decided to go into the spirituality and uh, more specifically I, I chose to pick up this product called the uh, Sacral Chakra and uh, the reason I did that is because on Pinterest if you type in like how to balance your Sacral Chakra you can find a lot of content based around that so if, if you're searching for something else like if you go in here and this one says obsidian white crystal zodiac bracelet so if I type in uh, zodiac bracelet Zodiac bracelet, if I spell that right. If they don't have a ton of content on there, like this one, there's, there's nothing, then I wouldn't want to get into that because, um, you know, there's just no traffic, nobody's searching for that. So that's why I went with how to balance your, your sacral chakra because they've got the things that I need. Uh, like I said here in the, uh, in the thing here, does it have a JD page? The answer is yes, it does, right? Where is that offer at? Right here. It says affiliate page right here. Okay, so I click on that. It takes me over to uh, here, and it gives me all of the, uh, the the swipe files or the the creatives that I need. So I can get these images. I can use these images if I want, and then I'm going to use these emails and things like that. So, so that's step one when you're finding your product. Just to recap really quickly with you, does it have a JV page? Make sure it does. Make sure it has those email swipes that you can use, and then make sure that. If you're promoting on Pinterest anyway, which that's what we're talking about today, make sure that it's going to work for that demographic that the, the women might be interested in. Step two is going to be to set up your autoresponder. Let me remove this. Set up an autoresponder, your sign up form, and your import emails. I'll show you how to do that really quick. So for this offer, I'm going to go ahead and create a new list for it. So company name, website, that's fine. Cinder is Ezra. I'm going to change this to the Cosmos. And the reason why I changed it to the Cosmos is to be congruent with this one. I believe it says something about the Cosmos in here. Yeah, love the Cosmos. Email free. And we're just going to keep it as the Cosmos. All right. And also, I'll put a little emoji in there because emojis are cool these days. So let's go with space. Boom, throw that in there. Looks good. All right, we'll go to the next step. What's that? List name is going to be um, spirituality, sacral chakra, let's just go with sacral, sacral, sh 
chakra. S C A J A R A. Okay. Alright, so with all this stuff, it, you just approve message and click if you want. That's fine. I'm gonna turn off the um, the need to the need to double opt-in. I'm just gonna make it a single opt-in form. So to do that, I go to list options, I go to list settings. I'll go to confirmation message right here. Okay, try to click that again. And I'm gonna turn that off. Yes. Save my settings. Alright, so we've got our list set up. Alright, let's go home. Alright, let's do a sign up form. Let's create a sign up form for these guys. Alright, we're gonna do the sign up form, then we're gonna import the emails. Okay. Let's create a sign up form. This is very easy to do, it doesn't take too much time. Um, I won't collect their names. I will just go for the email. Delete all that stuff. Alright, save your form. Go to step two. Alright, and we're gonna change this to balancing. Balance your chakra. Alright, and the thank you page, we're gonna send them to the custom URL, which is gonna be uh, the offer itself. Um, let me just get the, the link directly. Remote. Just leave it. It's fine. I'm generate my hop link. I'll copy that. I'll take that over to here and paste it right in here. So after someone signs up on the on the opt-in form, then they'll go from the opt-in form directly to the opt-in form. Okay. If they've already subscribed, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna send them over to the the offer. All right. Save your form. Go to step three. And then I will install the form directly. I'm gonna get the raw HTML. Now if you were to get the JavaScript snippet, like this one right here, it's still gonna have the double opt-in, so you wanna do the raw HTML, that way you'll have the single opt-in, okay? And I will just copy this and keep it for later, okay? All right, next thing we need to do is import those emails. So again, when you go to the offer and it says the affiliate page, you click on that affiliate page for any offer you're promoting. Uh, if they don't have email swipes, then I, I wouldn't promote it personally unless you're pretty good at copy. So anyway, here we go. Subject, can I pay your shipping? All right, that looks fine. Copy that. We'll go over here, we'll go to messages. Let's go to drafts, legacy follow-up series. And we'll do drag and drop email builder. Okay, so here we're gonna insert our subject line. I'm gonna capitalize that because it just looks better. Can I pay your shipping? And, uh, okay. All right, that looks fine. And then we'll go over here, we'll copy this stuff. Hi, first name, I hope you're blah, blah, blah. Go to this point right here. Copy that, I'll bring it in here and I'll just paste it in. And I'll do the same thing for all of those emails. I'm not gonna do it all right now because I'm just gonna take too much of your time. You get the idea, you're just gonna copy paste those in. And I would suggest that you kind of change it up a little bit, change them uh, just slightly so that you don't get you know, sent into the spam folder because if there's other affiliates that are promoting the same offer doing the exact same email swipes, using the exact same email swipes, then <laughs> the systems are gonna pick that up as spam Especially like Google, they're gonna see that that's like uh, duplicate content and they're gonna send it into the promotions folder so you, the person probably won't even see it. So definitely change it up a little bit. So I grab the image, put that under here. And let me upload the image. Picture, that was a camera roll. It's called Blank Box. It is. Okay. 
But now our email portion is done. We are ready to go on this end. The next thing that we need to do, step number three, is going to be, let's see if I can get this open here. All right, so we're gonna do our creatives. We're gonna do the static pins, and also we're gonna create a video pin. Now to create a video pin is pretty easy. I've done a tutorial on that, and the link to the tutorial is going to be in these, uh, the show notes or this little document, which again is in the description of this video, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is, I'll just do the static pin first. So we got Canva open up. I'm gonna go to Pinterest graphic. I will, uh, let's see. I wanna do something similar to this one. We got this orange color. And I'm basically gonna be like how to balance your, um, how to balance your sacral chakra is what I'm going for, okay? I like this pin setup, so I'm gonna do something similar to it. So let's go with this, where are we at? Right here. Let's do the background first. Got this, we'll do this pattern. It's got that orange color to it, so that's, that's cool, I like it. Uh, let's throw text in there. How to balance your sacral chakra. this one it's a jpeg now you can download as a png or jpeg it's totally up to you png is going to be a bigger file so it's just going to take longer for it to uh, load up and uh, jpeg is just a little bit faster if you're putting it on your website i would suggest you do jpeg if you're going to put it on pinterest directly into pinterest uh, you could probably go with the, the uh, png all right now we're going to also use this for our video pen, video pens tend to do a lot better, for me anyway, on Pinterest. So in order to do that, I'm just going to uh, cancel that out. The background, I'm going to delete the background also. I'm going to go into, where is it, elements, Let me close that. I'm going to grab this bad boy, and I'm going to do like this, just to keep it simple, and then I'll throw this to the back. Okay, add a balance of chakra. Let's make it that orange color. Uh, let's go with the... Okay. And I want to download transparent background. Just page number two. And I'm gonna click done. Download that. So that one's gonna be our video pin. Video pin's doing really well on Pinterest right now. I get a lot of traffic from my video pins. So do those so chakra. Video and yeah. Okay, so after you've done your creatives, we're gonna move on to step number four. This is to build your page or your blog post. Uh, personally, I like to use Thrive Architect. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Uh, where was that? Okay, back over here. Uh, you wanna keep it simple and make sure that it's mobile friendly because a lot of folks that come from Pinterest are actually gonna be on their phone. You might even be watching this from your phone. So to create the, the page, because we're gonna do the opt-in form, right? We're just gonna name this one uh, Sacral Chakra. Just name it Sacral Chakra, that's fine. Uh, we'll do a featured image for the page, although that's not very important right now. I'll add that one in. And save it as a draft. And then I'm gonna launch Thrive Architect. And that's going to bring up the page itself, and I'm going to edit the page to make it, you know, ready to go for, for folks to opt in and uh, get started. So, let me change the template. I'm going to just do, uh, you can choose any of their templates that they have. Um, I find this one pretty good because it's, it's super simple. So, I'll just grab this one for today. And I'll change out those colors to be like that cool little orange color they're using here. Yeah, I can close that out. I don't need that 
either. Attention, spiritual seekers, get this beautiful mala made specifically for your sacred chakra, it's not on sex. Here's why you need to balance. Why you need, okay, discover why you need to balance sacral chakra. I'm gonna go with that. And how to get one. Alright, I'm gonna copy that right there. Go over to here. And I'll paste that in. Let me bring this font size down. Discover why you need a balanced sacral chakra and how to get one. Um, I need to get that, that form, so I'm going to go to next to form, uh, switch to HTML integration, go back here, control A, control C, control V, continue, and we're good right there. Alright, so I'm saving this form right now, I'm saving this page, so I'll do good and done, I'll publish it. And I'll click view the page. And that's that. Alright, so step four is complete. We're gonna move on to step five, which is going to be to promote it on Pinterest. So when you go to Pinterest, make sure you set yourself up as a business account. And you come up here and you're gonna click this little red um, icon right here that says create pin. Click that. And then you're gonna drag and drop your creatives into here. I, again, I highly recommend that you set up a, a video pin. Again, I have the, the, the tutorial for that in the description. Or actually, it's in the documents, so you can check that out. And copy that, throw it in here. Add link destination. Throw your title in there, how to balance your sacral chakra. Again, I'll just do that. How to balance and perfect your sacral chakra. Get a free mala Get a free mala bee. Alright. And then you're just gonna go ahead and select the board that you wanna save it to. I'm gonna put it on, I guess that's from fine. Put it on there, and that's it. Now if you wanted to, you could promote your pin. You could, you know, spend a little bit of money to promote it, to get it out there. Um, so that's all totally you You click on this, you can spend like five bucks a day to drive some traffic. Uh, but basically, once it's out there, someone will click on it. It's gonna bring me to the, the, the landing page, the squeeze page. I'm gonna put in an email account. To extra at iCloud. I'll submit that. And this should take me from this landing page or speech page on over to the offer, which it does. That works. That's great. Now I want to um, check and make sure that the subscribers, subscribe, subscribe, refresh that. There's, there's that is right there. I tested it just a few minutes ago. Uh, but putting that plus test must have messed something up. Anyway. Let me go to my iCloud and see if I got the follow-up message from myself. There it is. The Cosmos, can I pay your shipping? Alright, open that up. Looks good. Give me the go-ahead. Click on that. It will take me over to the offer, I'm sure. Click on that. And it worked. Alright, got my hot point. Alright, everything is working. It's good to go. So, that's basically it, guys. Just to run through it really quickly again. This is how you promote ClickBank products on Pinterest. Now, a few things I would say. Don't direct link your ClickBank uh, hop link to an offer on, on Pinterest because it's probably just going to get suppressed. And no one's going to see it. It's not going to get pushed out. If you do like I did using your own website or a blog post, and you have rich pins enabled, then you have a better chance of your pin getting seen by more and more people, okay? So give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Uh, again, the link to this file is in the description so you can you know, follow along or do it how you like at your own pace. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the description of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.